uh, maybe a little chilly, but still a great time to get out of town and spend a little time in the Amish community of Arthur. And special guest Christy joining me with, uh, you're the director of tourism here in Arthur, yes? That is correct. All right, so tell me what you do on a daily basis when it comes to getting people in and out of this town and uh, helping them enjoy the Amish community. Sure. Well, I do a lot of sending out packets, a lot of talking. I do a lot of talking. Um, but we are out promoting at different events and doing radio and TV, of course, to promote what we do have going on here in Arthur. Now, you were telling me just a little bit ago about this Spotlight Tour that's coming up in November. This sounds very cool. What is it, and uh, how can people be involved? Sure. November 9th and 10th, um, we will be hosting our first Spotlight Tour of the Arthur area. So in prior years, the Woodwrights Guild um, had a fall tour of the Wood shops featuring the craftsmanship and stuff that we have in this area which we do have a lot of they are no longer doing that tour so we did take over that date and we're gonna highlight 15 businesses in our area um, showing off their uniqueness now uh, for those who might not have been here before spent much time in Amish communities uh, what would be unique about these businesses that you're not gonna see in uh, other parts of our state well, first of all, of course, our craftsmanship with our wood shops and all of that. Um, you cannot beat the craftsmanship here. So it's not just a piece of furniture, but it's an heirloom. So we'll be showcasing that. But we're also going to showcase our culture a little bit. Uh, we'll be giving buggy rides, showing off our food. We are good foodies down here. So um, we'll be having a lot of refreshments and showing off some of our restaurants as well. Now, the Spotlight Tour, you said, is coming up in early November. Let's say someone just says, you know, we're going to make a trip down. We can't make it that weekend, but we want to uh, try to enjoy what Arthur has to offer. Where do you start someone when they come to town and say, these are some things that you definitely need to do and take advantage of? Absolutely. Well, of course, the first thing I'm going to tell you is come see us at the Welcome Center, um, where we do have a lot of brochures and a map, which is the key to the area. So we want you to visit our downtown. It's a couple blocks long, but packed with a bunch of great businesses. And then once you go out to the countryside, um, we're going to send you down the Magnificent Mile that we have. Chicago has one. We need one, too. So we'll send you down the Magnificent Mile and then throughout the countryside. Really, we have 450-ish businesses in our area. And our goal is to find out what you enjoy and to tailor your experience here towards that. As we wrap up here, is there a number one attraction that when people come here, they go, I need to see the fill in the blank. What is it that everybody wants to see? Oh, you're really putting me on the spot here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Choosing your favorite child, right? <laughs> right, and I have four. Um, no, there's a lot of businesses. Really, they want to come down for the uniqueness and that slower pace for Arthur that we can offer them. Okay. So there's a lot here for them. Well, we will post all that information on our website, ciliving.tv, for you to check out when you get the chance. It may be cold and a little rainy today, but it's a beautiful <laughs> part of the country, and uh, we hope you get a chance to come and enjoy it. Now